Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me. So in this video, there's going to be some more information on what to expect going forward and how you can assist and accelerate the process. Um, so as you may know, we're being asked to upgrade to a, a different operating system, um, one that is multidimensional and quantum in nature instead of the, the linear survival-based program that um, everybody else has been operating on, and so have we for the most part. Um, but we've taken that um, system as far as it can go, and here we are in 2021, and the, the keys to create and integrate these new systems is upon us. And there are some things you can do to assist this process. and. Um, Last video, I gave a passive way to help with this process um, in the form of frequency. Now, this video is going to be related to that, but it's going to be more of an active way to use those frequencies and to put yourself in, a, in the necessary space to help integrate these changes. So, basically, we are being asked to access and stay in our gland system. So you know, the pituitary gland, uh, the pineal gland, all of these different systems are created to kick it up a notch once those multidimensional energies um, come online. And what I'm hearing is going into 2021, here at the beginning, it's really important that we set the tone going forward and that we make our intentions clear and known to the universe. Um, not that they don't already know, but when we sit down in a meditation and create the proper energy around us and in our field, we open up a portal of communication. And this is where the glands come in. Um, so you probably know that the pineal gland is the access point, the connection point to uh, the bridge, if you will, to your higher self. So it's important that we get to um, the right space when we do these affirmations and setting intentions and whatever else we do um, as an old soul to create and manifest the energy that we expect to exist in. But a lot of us have had trouble um, in the past getting to that place of creation and manifestation because we haven't been able to bypass the brain stem. So pretty much when you, um, when you meditate, depending on your level of commitment to that meditation, you begin to access different levels of the brain. So you move out of that survival level and into the, the creation manifestation level um, which is your pituitary and pineal gland system. But the Pleiadian message that came through this time was to be sure that you are in that pineal gland energy when you do give your um, intentions and your affirmations. And something that can help you do that is the, the frequency of 111. And it has been proven with brain scans that this frequency um, has the ability to close down those survival mechanisms that exist in certain part of the brains. So these are the parts of the brain that are going to interrupt your meditation instead of contributing to it. So exposing yourself during a meditation to the frequency 111 is going to close down those systems and allow you the opportunity to access the pineal gland. And as we know, like I said before, the pineal gland is the access point. It is the portal. It is the, the pathway to sending out energy and also receiving. And if you put on a pair of earphones and start playing this frequency, you're going to notice your third eye pulsating within minutes. And um, you're going to notice the, the other parts of your brain that would usually interrupt you aren't they're performing any sort of function. They are just sort of put into a standby mode so that you can operate from the level that you need to to make your intentions clear and set the tone going forward into 2021. So what you wanna do, um, I'm gonna break down the process right here for you. You want to 
put on the frequency of 111 and the, the YouTube channel that provides that is going to be in the description of this video just like it was in the last one. Um, I'll even link that frequency specifically so you can find it easily. But you're going to put that frequency on in your earphones or out loud, whatever you prefer. And, um, you know, really let yourself really bring out the toolkit of an old soul and the patient meditator, the one that's going to not let um, anything outside of themselves distract them from accessing that connection point that can be elusive if there are distractions in the environment. So you want to put that frequency on, um, get into a deep meditation state, give yourself about 10 or 20 minutes. And at that time, that's when you're going to start doing your affirmations and you're going to let the, the universe know exactly what your expectations are. And um, they will respond to your free will because they honor your free will above all. And you being able to get into a place of pure intent and then letting your team know what your expectations are and what you're looking to create going forward, um, that's a huge energetic shift potentially. So be mindful of what you're saying in this space because your free will is everything here, especially when you're doing, when you are approaching the situation with pure intent. So if I was to do this meditation, um, my affirmations would be this, preferably out loud. Um, if you have to do it internally, know that that's okay too. But if you can use your voice to um, speak into the air and let your cellular structure vibrate with that intent as well, um, more power to you. So my meditation would look like this. Dear spirit, with my free will and pure intent, I open the portal of communication to my higher self. I integrate and activate all multidimensional systems. I free the body of all sickness and disease and that which does not serve my highest timeline. I clear all karmic debt that does not serve my highest timeline. I reject and repel all old energy that does not reflect the benevolent, magnificent being that I am. Okay. And those are just a few examples. You can literally go on and on, but um, just know that you are being heard and your, like I said, your free will is being respected and honored. But the important thing is to always close your meditation with so be it and so it is. And that is something that's pretty common through the times with all masters, um, past, present or future. It's very important that we establish a ritual before and after meditation. That way it signals the, the universe and our team that that space that we are entering is sacred and on purpose and with divine intent. So something that's really important in the beginning of 2021 is getting into meditation and setting pure intent and using affirmations to let the universe know what you wish to receive. Also let them know what you wish to um, be rid of from your field and then sit back and know that you were heard and appreciate that you were heard and then trust the process to unfold for you. Um, because, uh, you know, as old souls, we know that things don't always manifest instantly and that things can be uh, put on a timeline that is beyond our perspective. So it's important to trust our team that they know what they're doing and that they have access to see what the highest potentials are for us and that through our intent in any given now moment, we can propel ourselves to that highest timeline. So going forward, make sure that everything you do is on purpose with pure intent and um, you should be set for the rest of your existence here. Um, it's a pretty beautiful system and I'm glad to be a part of it. And it's something that I appreciate and tried my best to be thankful for every single day. So. 
thank you very much you guys and um, so last video I asked you guys if you could leave a like on the channel um, on the video and you guys came through for me big time for that so um, keep it up and know that um, it meant a lot to us so thank you very much you guys goodbye